Hey guys, this is a video tutorial of all the software that you're going to be needing for the image processing for the sub. So these are the three that we're, we'll be using. Python 2.7.5, OpenCV 2.4.5, and NumPy 1.7.1, .1, which is like an add-on library for Python. So first, what you're going to want to get is Python 2.7.5. So just open any web browser. Go to this URL up at the top, and you're going to scroll down to Python 2.7.5. The reason we're using this and not the latest version is because OpenCV only supports 2.7 and 2.6. So we're going to download 2.7 and you're going to be getting the, this one at the top if you have a Windows computer and then this one if you have a Mac. So once you download that you will get this file in your C drive called Python 2.7 and these are all the things that are included with it. Now once you have that, you're gonna go and get the next thing which is NumPy. So this is the website for NumPy and what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down and get, pick this one, NumPy 2.7 because that's the Python that we downloaded. And then once you have that, you're gonna run NumPy and once you run NumPy, it's gonna install all the libraries into Python. So you're gonna go to check if it actually installed it, you're going to go to Python 2.7 lib and go to site packages and numpy is right there so this is all the libraries that it included into Python for what all the image processing that we're going to be using and then last you're going to go and get OpenCV 2.4.5 so you're going to go down here to OpenCV.org slash downloads and you're going to get OpenCV for Windows, if you have Windows for Linux or Mac. We're using 2.4.5 again because that's the one that is most compatible with the Python that we have. So once you have that, you're going to get this file right here with the little OpenCV logo. And pretty much what this is, it's not the actual OpenCV program. It's like a zip file, so you're going to run as administrator and going to extract the file. So once you do that, you're going to extract it. You could put it wherever you want. So what I did was I put it in my C drive. So once you do that, I put it in my C drive. I named it OpenCV245. And this is what it's going to give you. It's going to extract all these files into it. And now what you're going to do with that is you're going to go into Build, Python 2.7, and then CV2.PYD, which is the Python code. You're going to copy that and then go back into your C drive, into the Python, into lib, into site packages, and just copy that in so that now um, Python will recognize all the OpenCV commands. So now to check if it worked, you're going to go to Python, and then this is just an example one that I'm going to show you how to get. So from numpy import all and from cv2 import all. So doing this makes it so that you don't have to type cv in front of every single OpenCV function. It just makes it easier. And to find some example codes of Python that you could look at for OpenCV, you could just go into the OpenCV folder that downloaded, go to samples, Go to Python or Python 2, and it has all these examples of like edge detection, finding contours. So, if you want to see that, edge, this is the one that I was just showing you, edge. So, if we edit with idle, so this is the, the same thing that we were just, I was just showing you earlier. But see how they only said import CV2, not from. CV2 import all. That's why they have to write CV2 in front of all these functions. So just doing it the way that this code is written is a lot simpler and easier to follow. So these are the same codes except we imported the other libraries and in this one they have to call CV2 every time and in ours we don't. So we run it check if it works and OpenCV works so that's how you know if it installed correctly and that's it